Greetings and salutations, my history-loving mischief. Brian Guthrie, aka Guthron the Balding Bard, back with you again. This week we will be taking a break from the normal video essays to propose a grant study. Yes, it's another assignment. See, the professor is right over there, waiting mostly patiently. So let's begin. The requirement for this week's assignment is simple. Develop an idea for a grant. We have to plan out the appeal to a specific foundation to gain theoretical support for the proposed idea. We aren't actually submitting it, just pretending. So I went to the list offered in the module's assignments and perused them. The choices did not leave a lot of options for the topics I've been studying. This first one, Virginia Humanities, has some potential for approving something relating to my topics. The downside is it has to do with Virginia only. So much local obsession with Virginia. So I dove in. As you all know by now, I'm studying Civil War combat trauma. In a previous essay, we looked into prisoner of war camps during the Revolutionary War. And it's my most watched recent video, so thanks for that. Another assignment this week requires me to write a blog that takes history and applies it to a personal level. So my brain started working on how to merge the two projects. What if I researched an ancestor of mine who fought in the Civil War and who died in a prisoner of war camp? This gave me some options to start with. However, the blog assignment is going to go a different direction, owing almost exclusively to some absolutely salacious details we uncovered while researching said ancestor. Two words for you, Quakers and scandalous. Don't worry, I'll be making an entirely separate video essay about that story after I write the blog post, finish the semester, and return from a Christmas trip to Alaska. Minus 20 degrees Celsius, here I come. After all, when that story ends with me standing over a grave buried on the very ground my university is built on, one can hardly leave that one sitting on the shelf. I know, such a tease. Returning to the Civil War, I decided to stick with my original idea for the blog and research the soldiers of the 42nd Virginia Infantry Regiment for this proposal. That unit fought at some of the most famous battles in the war, including Antietam, Fredericksburg, Chancellorsville, Gettysburg, the Wilderness Campaign, Cold Harbor, Cedar Creek, the Siege of Petersburg, and Spotsylvania Courthouse. Now, you might be wondering why I listed that last one out of chronological order to the rest. To you, I'll say, good eye. That battle, specifically the Bloody Angle, proved disastrous for the 42nd Virginia Infantry. Most of the unit was captured and sent to POW camps, including my ancestor. Many of them ended up at Elmira POW camp in New York State. Most of them did not return, also including my ancestor. So there came my idea. I will propose a project that studies the soldiers of that unit that went to Elmira prison, telling their stories as men who took part in one of the most atrocious battles in the war and in one of the seminal moments in the battle, only to find themselves sent to hell on earth where they would suffer and many of them would die. This project will include video essays on the unit and its members. Additionally, it will create detailed records for genealogical studies of interest to descendant families living in Virginia and beyond. A potential exhibit might also make it into the final proposal, one based at my university in Lynchburg, Virginia, as the unit was drawn from that and neighboring regions to the west but it's too early to commit to that. However, a permanent digital exhibit online is feasible and will be included in the proposal. This exhibit will include soldier profiles and interactive looks into the battles they fought and their life at the POW camp in New York State. For key deliverables, I will propose a few outcomes. The first deliverable is historical engagement, specifically with the families descended from these soldiers. This can be accomplished in a variety of ways, from research to interviews. The second deliverable is historical awareness. Virginia is very proud of her history, but most people are not as giddy to learn of the darker parts of their past. American society, as we've demonstrated on this channel, did not like to see the consequences of their war come home, especially when it came to mental health. This project aims at shedding light on this darker side of our past, how we as a society failed our soldiers after they returned facing unspeakable trauma. We refused to allow them to heal correctly and then covered it up through historical whitewashing of the Civil War as the Good War, wherein the participants were supposedly immune to trauma. However, I digress. Obviously, I'm just discussing the idea here. Any actual proposal will leave the extra commentary out, of course. The final deliverable is historical community. This can include a couple of possible approaches, all carrying one design, to take the concept from this one unit and expand it to other units first in Virginia and then beyond. History, after all, is a communal experience. By bringing a smaller group together to engage with their own history, promoting their own awareness of a fuller picture of their own past, we can hopefully bring larger communities together doing the same concept. Well, that's the idea. Fairly simple to sketch out, much more difficult to develop and execute. There are a lot of things that would have to be studied and reviewed, modified, and then modified again before we ever came close to doing something like this. But it's a start, and that's not even touching on all the other juicy stuff I found digging into an ancestry tree trying to find more information about one guy who fought in some battles and died in a POW camp. You should try it sometime. You never know what you will find. This is Guthron, aka Brian Guthrie, the Balding Bard, signing off. And cue the credits.